switch on the printer and go to the control panel now select the language and click OK now it says finish setup using Epson smart panel app so we will click on the no button so that we can easily set up the printer without an issue so click OK now click OK button again next thing is to install the ink cartridges so click OK to proceed we are going to fill in the ink so click OK now open the ink cartridge chamber so pull it out and also open these the next thing is to fill the ink tanks so take the ink out of this packaging it's easy you have to just open the cap and we can start the installation of the ink now make sure you match the color and the alphabet now place the ink cartridge press it little bit down it will start the ink tank to fill once the ink tank is full shake the bottle and take it out so there might be some ink left you can use later on now repeat the process for all four ink cartridges and once we fill in all ink tanks we can close it and go to the main setup go to the printer screen once the initialization is complete click ok for the click ok to start the print head alignment click ok to start the print head alignment now load the a4 size or letter size paper in the paper tray paper tray is at the rear now slide it out adjust the size place your paper Now check if there are any missing lines in the printing. There are no missing lines so select no and click ok. You can adjust the print position or you can just do it later. Print head alignment is complete. Click on the done button. We have completed the initial setup of the printer. You can start copy from here. To do a wireless setup scroll ahead and click on the setting icon scroll ahead for network settings look for Wi-Fi setup Wi-Fi recommended ok Wi-Fi setup wizard it will show up the list of Wi-Fi networks select your Wi-Fi network and click ok now enter the password and click ok again printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network you will see the blue light on the top from here you can add this printer in a computer, laptop or a macbook and then you can start using it for wireless printing and scanning. So this way we can do the setup of this printer. Thanks for watching.